Good afternoon, Josie here from Finest Laya. This afternoon, I am going to make black tea, but this time it is a tea that comes from Kenya. This tea is the same as tea that is grown in China, India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and other tea growing countries. It is Camellia sinensis. And as we uh, learned in the past, this tea, species of tea, originated in China. Kenya is one of the largest grow tea growing countries in the world. Because of its um, fertile soil and favorable uh, climate, they produce a unique kind of tea. And these areas are around the, um, in the highlands, around the uh, Rift uh, Valley area. To name a few of these uh, tea growing areas in Kenya, they are namely um, Kiricho, Nyeri, Bomet, Nandi, Kiambu, Tika, Maragua, Muranga, and other uh, areas around there. We like this tea. It is robust and has this unique taste. Kenya is found on the eastern coast of Africa. It is a country that is bordered by uh, Somalia in the northeast, Ethiopia in the north, Tanzania to the south, Uganda to the west, and to the east is the Indian Ocean. We had the chance of uh, living in um, Kenya on the uh, coastal uh, town of Mombasa. Beautiful place, beautiful beaches. And there are national parks uh, around there. The uh, one, our favorite uh, national park that we visited uh, uh, a lot was Savo around the Taita Hills. It just has this unique uh, savanna and the Taita Hills. It's just beautiful. There are also other uh, national parks uh, around the country like Nairobi, the Maasai Mara, and other uh, places around there. Very popular uh, places to go and visit. So if you have the chance to uh, visit uh, Kenya, you can look up uh, those places and uh, go and see some of the rare, rarest animals in the world that are only found in, in Africa, like the giraffe, the zebras, the um, hippos, hippopotamus, the uh, large uh, buffaloes, baboons, the lions, cheetahs, and so many other uh, animals in there. I just, it, um, I feel uh, homesick uh, thinking about those places. We just watched uh, this movie um, called Out of uh, Africa. Uh, was a book written by Karen one uh, Blixen. It was just just so uh, nice to um, revisit these uh, places through the movie. But I would like to go back there someday and um, go and see um, our place where we lived. Uh, we rented a house um, by the sea and so our kids' playground was the beach. It was just um, 
We met so many people there, nice people, uh, both expatriates and, and, and local people. So it's just uh, a nice uh, memory lane to, um, to talk about. But for now, we are going to make Kenyan tea. So this is our tea, Kenyan tea. It is a robust kind of tea. It uh, really has this nice, strong flavor. Let's start to put, make our tea. We are going to steep it for um, three minutes. After three minutes, let us check our tea. Give it a stir. Mm. It's aromatic. Let us pour our tea into our cups. Mm, look at the color. It is so nice this dark chocolate color it has a very nice aroma too okay i'm going to pour hot water i um, mean milk There we go. Flavor with the honey. Just a little bit. A third of a teaspoon. Give it a stir. Our tea is ready. I'm going to bring it to the sitting area to share with my husband. Hello. Hello there. This is a very good day for the tea we're getting ready to drink uh, because it is a very wet day. It's not cold at all. It's middle of June, but it's raining hard and it makes you think a little bit cold. And that's when a nice cup of Kenyan tea with a little bit of milk and a little bit of sugar tastes really, really nice. So we're getting ready to have it. Mm, cheers. Cheers. Tell me what you think about this tea. Very nice. Taste is so, um, uh, it's strong but um, has a very unique taste. I think about Kenya. They make a really robust, and robust is the word, um, pot of tea in Kenya. Um, they, it, they, they produce a lot of tea in Kenya. Um, and it is famous around the world. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we're having today. We had a chance to live in Kenya for a while and came to yes. uh, enjoy the tea that was produced there and as elsewhere enjoy the tea culture that was there. 
-hmm. because um, you always had it. You had a tea break. You had tea with your breakfast. You had tea in the afternoon, that tea breaks. And wonderfully, you had biscuits to go along with your tea. Right, but, we, um, have some, we have biscuits. Yes, we uh, do. Well, I can go get some biscuits. I'm back with the biscuits. This is actually uh, a store-bought biscuits, but uh, we like it and uh, it is very good for dunking. They really are. They're good. And we're doing this, of course, in the context of Kenya. Mm. The art of dunking is to soak the uh, biscuit into the uh, tea for about um, five seconds. Otherwise it will crumble and fall into the tea. Which of course is an indication of a, either a poor dunker or one that is uh, <laughs> not yet completed the uh, initiation into dunking. But uh, again, this is, um, Kenyan tea is very full bodied, it's very nice. The kind of tea that you must uh, be sort of careful with as you um, uh, brew it because it gets very strong very quickly. And um, we really like it. I loved it in Kenya. I never turned down a cup. Although we are not quite so heavy with the milk and the sugar as they were there. But like I said, I was served thousands of cups of tea then. I never turned one down and enjoyed every one. Uh, here a little bit later on, uh, with Kenyan tea in a different place, we um, have it with a little bit more tea and a whole lot less milk and sugar. Still delicious, still never turn them down. Um, and today is a beautiful day for it because, like I said, it is uh, very rainy. It has been raining and it's supposed to continue raining. And the garden is singing hallelujah. I mean to tell you. Yes. Things are blue and things are green. Uh, I guess only the earthworms are a bit upset because they're getting driven out of the ground. Um, That's right. The crepe uh, myrtle is blooming. Great myrtle is blooming, their vines blooming, everything is blooming. And if it's not blooming, it's shiny green. Yes. Um, but anyway, just wanted to share with you that we're having this wonderful cup of tea this afternoon. And uh, very, like I say, reminiscent of, um, um, of, of Kenya. Um, and for those who have been there, you know exactly what I mean. Mm -hmm. For those who haven't, um, go look at little bits and pieces of out of Africa. It'll That's tell right. you all about it. We just watched the um, movie out of uh, Africa again last night and just brings back um, good memories of our stay there. And uh, someday we will go back and uh, revisit our uh, place where we stayed and uh, places where we have been, I hope. Anyway, with that, please uh, enjoy your afternoon. If you have a chance, get a cup of tea with a biscuit. That's right. Dunk it and enjoy. And enjoy. This is all for now. You take good care, you stay healthy, and we'll see you again next time. Bye from us.